What up, gang? It's your boy SNTV back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Shooter Shells, aka Shells the Shooter. Now, um, Shooter Shells comes from that set Black Mob. They from, um, kind of like from Terror Town over there on the east side from uh, 74th and Phillips, 75th and 76th to Yates. So, um, they beef with um, NLMB. And they uh beef with ABK. That's pretty much their main beefs right there. And um actually it's crazy because how it's set up is that like on on both sides, you know, they got they beefing with, you know what I'm saying, on niggas on both sides of them. You see what I'm saying? Because um ABK is like, you know what I'm saying, like seventy second, seventy third and shit like that. And then um NLMB is like, you know what I'm saying, seventy eighth and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Seventy ninth and shit. So it's crazy how, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, like, they got, they got motherfucking, you just coming at them at all, at all fronts, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they kind of like, they kind of like got to be careful. Now, what I think is crazy about that is um, all three of those sets are actually stones, actually they're uh, maniac stones. Now, um, you know, some people might say, you know what I'm saying, renegade, or some people might say insane, but to me, those are all three one and the same basically basically what those are renegade you know what i'm saying renegade sets now um i know for a fact that nlmb has gds in it i'm not sure about uh abk or uh black mob but i do know that they're stones you know what i'm saying so you got you know you got stones going against stones basically and um you know that, that that's crazy I always remember Terra Town, you know what I'm saying? From from as long as I can remember, I always been, uh, just remember Terra Town being stones. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, that just shows you the disunity. Like, the sets, you know what I'm saying? They going against each other. Like, like I said, take Black Mob, for instance. Black Mob surrounded by, you know what I'm saying? They got smoke on both sides. So, you know, Chicago is real crazy like that right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, niggas is riding depending on their geographical location. But um, yeah. Before uh, before Shooter Shells uh got killed or whatever, he was going crazy on the rap scene. You know what I'm saying? He had uh he had dropped that um, he had dropped that Death of One Fifty, and when he dropped that Death of One Fifty, it went crazy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of fans, a lot of um uh, G Herbo fans, you know, was coming out saying he was clout chasing or whatever. But what I found out when I watched that Zach TV interview, uh, rest in peace, Zach. What I found out when I watched that interview was that, you know, they been had smoke. You see what I'm saying? Like, just because a motherfucker make it big don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, the niggas that he been riding with all his life done stop beefing with the, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the niggas on the other side. So it's like, you know, the, he definitely went clout chasing. You know, it was just, and then actually um, G Herbo dissed him first. You know what I'm saying? He said that he had put out a, um, he had put out a diss track on G Herbo, but the diss track didn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? And then he ended up getting locked back up. So when he had got out, he dropped another one. And that motherfucker went crazy. And, you know, the video dope as hell, the song dope as hell. And you know what I'm saying? He pretty much went bananas on that motherfucker. Now, um, Shooter Shells, he got the, like most people's street names just be, you know, most people's street names really be their rap names because they really don't like be on that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers, but with Shooter Shells, Shooter Shells was really on that. You know what I'm saying? He got his name from, you know, what he did in the streets. And he's been identified with at least, like, three bodies. And, you know, dealing with these bodies, something I want to say about these bodies. You motherfuckers will never know a nigga true body count. Like, for real. Unless you get this information from a motherfucker that's right here next to, you know what I'm saying, these niggas. You will never get a motherfucker true body count because I bullshit you not. It's always shit going on in Chicago, like straight up, like every night, you know what I'm saying? When I was on that gang bag and shit, bro, every night we would be into some shit, you know what I'm saying? And we were shorties, you know what I'm saying? We were shorties like a motherfucker, but we would stay into some shit, bro. It's a lot of shit that go on that the internet don't never hear about, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, you can never really say a motherfucker true body count at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, his body count is supposed to be up to three. And um he's you know, he's he he's a real scary fig. 
He a real scary figure. He the type of motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, that the ops knew that they had to get him out the way because he was definitely a problem. And another thing I find fascinating with him that, you know, and I, and I, and I feel like this has a lot to do with why people follow the drill scene. Drill, the drill movement is about, and just being honest, the drill movement is about death, you know what I'm saying, destruction, you know, motherfuckers going to jail. That's what the drill movement about is about. And so, you know, um, DJ Academics, he made it like a series, but, you know, this is this is the, the, the closest thing to reality TV as a motherfucker going to get. And people watch it because they feel like it's interesting. But these motherfuckers is, you know, really out here doing this shit. And with him, he was one of the ones, you know, like... Uh, like Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? Well, like both of the Vons, you know, he was out in the streets and he was putting in work and he was, you know what I'm saying, rapping about the shit. You see what I'm saying? And he was coming at motherfuckers' heads. And a lot of times you, you look at a motherfucker and you be like, oh, man, shorty, man, shorty has clout chaser. Shorty's just big capping, you know what I'm saying? Whole time, shorty a killer like a motherfucker. Shorty a kill, serial killer out this bitch and you don't even know it, you know what I'm saying? Because you just going on by how a motherfucker look. Or how a motherfucker sound, you know what I'm saying? How, how short or tall a motherfucker is. How skinny a motherfucker is, you know what I'm saying? But niggas be real live mass murderers out here and, 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 and niggas will never know it. You feel me? Because everybody don't get on the internet with their business. But, um, yeah, uh, Shooter Shells, he was repping that, that, that black mob hard. He was going crazy with the rap. And, uh, unfortunately, he had an untimely death. Uh, due to gun violence, like, you know, most of the people, most of the rappers out of Chicago, you know what I'm saying, do they end up dying, you know, before they can actually make it. And um, I felt like this dude right here was real. He was a real special dude for the simple fact, not only could he rap, but to me, he brought a different flavor to the drill scene because, you know, the way that he rapped, he was one of those rare rappers like, uh, like, like Pappy, you know what I'm saying? He kind of had like a like a up north style. I mean, that's my opinion. He kind of had like a up north style in the way that he put the words together. Like he kept all of his words rhyming on one sequence. You know what I'm saying for long periods of time. Like you know what I'm saying. Flipping and flipping and steady tripping and flipping. I pop the clipping and pop the clipping. You know what I'm saying. Like he he kept the he kept rhyming with the same sequence. And if you if you ever did music, you you know what I'm saying. You understand like that's very hard to do because you got to find words and words and words that rhyme with you know the same word. But not only that, you have to at times take words that don't even supposed to rhyme and make them rhyme. So. You know, just dissecting, you know, the, the way that he spit in his style. I feel like he, you know, he was he was very different and he was he was special. Um, now, dealing with uh, Shooter Shell's death, of course, um, we all know that Shooter Shell's had actually one of the most gruesome deaths in, uh, in the history of Chicago. Not only just the history of the drill scene, in the history of Chicago. And uh, Shooter Shell's was shot in the face up to 15 times. And... His picture was actually released on the internet, which I feel like whoever released that picture on the internet is, you know what I'm saying, they bogus as hell. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, I would, you know what I'm saying, never want to see one of my loved ones on the, you know, on the internet. And I got a little clip of it, but, you know what I'm saying, showing a little something, but it's pretty much just giving you the idea of, you know what I'm saying, the scene, how the scenery was set up. But I would never... Post that man on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Fucked up like that. R.I.P. Shooter Shells. But um, according to the story, you know, he died in the uh, Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Um, I think it was the 8100 block of Paulina. Don't quote me on that. Um, by the way, um, uh, like a lot of people think that I be reading off shit. I don't be reading off shit. This is all on the top of my mind, you know what I'm saying? Because I try to get y'all the real effect of how I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? Also, mix that with the information. But anyway, um, it was in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. It was uh, on the 8100 8, block of Paulina, which the only gang is um, in that area that I could think of is probably East Spot. Okay, so, you know, this is where Shooter Shells got killed. Now, I always go back to this because, and the reason why I always go back to this is because if you think about it, 90% of the videos I did 
they have something in common. What is it that they have in common? The thing that they have in common is their locations are always given away. It happens repeatedly time after time after time after time after time. From the Pappies to the uh, to the JoJo's to the Vons. Even if they gave their own location away, their locations were given away. You know what I'm saying? Why do I say that Shooter Shell's location was given away? Okay, Shooter Shell's was in, in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Like I said, you know, East Spot is over there, but you know what I'm saying? That's not East Spot, necessarily East Spot's direct, one of East Spot's direct territories, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's not, you know, that's not an area that motherfuckers just know that he just kick it at. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so, and plus that, you know, that's not his neighborhood. And, and you know, so, um, when the shooters came, It was supposed to be up at up to at least three of them. Now, for them to put fifteen shots in his head, for them to be waiting and ready for him to come, that tells me that his location was definitely, you know, it was definitely a setup. They say that somebody, a man, hopped out of a van. Okay, a man was reportedly to hop out of the van. Where did the other two assailants come from? You see what I'm saying? This was already planned. His location was already given away. I want to say his gun was in the car. So he didn't have his gun on him. And, you know, when they caught him, it was it, it, was, it was very personal. You know what I'm saying? Um, I heard that it was ABK. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to go for no, no more farther than that. But I heard it was definitely uh, ABK, you know what I'm saying, in a conglomeration of uh, NLMB. I heard NLMB had something to do with it. Do I know if that's true or can I confirm it? No. But I do know that whoever killed him had, you know, it was it was personal. You know what I'm saying? For you to shoot somebody in the face 15 times is super kill. Like, they've been dead after the first one or two shots. You know what I'm saying? You put another 13 to 12 bullets in his head. You see what I'm saying? So it was definitely, you know... It was definitely somebody who had a personal beef with him. You know, maybe he killed one of their homeboys or, you know, maybe it was they, you know, he killed one of their, you know, brothers or something like that. Um, it's just a, you know, it's just another day in the office dealing with Chicago. You see what I'm saying? This story right here is another sad story going down in history. A dude that had plenty of talent, got caught up in the gang violence of Chicago and lost his life. Um... I feel I feel like it's it's a it's a multitude of deceit going on with that with all of this setting up shit. This is why I no longer, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm associated with plenty of niggas off the block, plenty of gangbangers, but and then not only that my age, but you know, this is why I don't get caught up in that no more because at the end of the day, it's a liability. It's a liability. Like, it's so many niggas that could have got out the hood, could have made it through the music if they wasn't, you know what I'm saying, living the music and dissing and things of this nature. Not only that, a lot of times we may think that a rapper that's dissing another rapper is clout chasing, but the whole time, you know, these motherfuckers been into it all their life. But just because this rapper's more famous than this rapper, and we don't understand the situation, we don't know nothing about it, then, boom, we automatically assume that he's cloud chasing, when that's not always the case. So, you know, you just got to have a, you just gotta have an open mind about shit. But, um, that's basically it. That's what I got on Shooter, Sh Shooter Shells. Like, share, comment, and make sure that you subscribe. It's your boy, SNTV. I'm out.